Hi everybody, it's Joey and I'm here to do a Bath and Body Works holiday haul. Now I don't have a lot of stuff. I got like no body. Oh, I did get some body care. I'm lying. Alright, so there's a mix of wool flowers, body care, a lot of hand soaps, and one candle. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the wool flowers. Just get that out of the way. So the first one I have is white mint latte and this they have in body care um this is fresh peppermint white chocolate and whipped milk i think this is in body care now there's two new body care items i do not have here for the holiday season there's this one mint i think i think it's called something different though i think it's called white mint drop or something no i have it here no no i don't have it here no i have it here as a hand soap coconut mint drop is <clears throat> The new body care, that smells really, really good. I love that smell. I think it is very different than Twisted Peppermint. You don't smell the coconut. I think it's like vanilla, marshmallow, and peppermint. It's so good. It's so creamy and delicious and sweet and just so much like the holiday season. I think they need to really keep doing that one because that one's really good. I have not liked a, holiday, a new holiday scent in a long time, but that one definitely takes the cake. This is different though, but I think it kind of smells the same. And the second one was Snowy Morning. I didn't like that one. It's like a clean, refreshing, cologne smell. I, I didn't like it. I'm just going to keep it real. I didn't like it. But the Coconut Mint Drop saved the day for the Holly Body Care this year. Saved the day because it is so good. Anyways, so this is the, this is the Wallflower. And I don't know what this smells like because I have, I can't open it up. It's sealed. But I'm assuming it smells like the the um, coconut mint drop. I'm assuming it smells like that. Or well, close to it. So I have the wallflower in that. I love the wallflowers. They last like a month, a little over a month, and they're great. They're really strong and they smell great. The second one I have is Marshmallow Fireside. This is a classic. Everyone knows what this smells like. Everybody. The notes on this is Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and Warm Vanilla. Yeah, I really like this one. I just think it's like a fiery, woodsy smell that has a hint of sweet in there because of the marshmallow. I think it's so good. Um, it's really great. I think it's a great winter smell. Like, when it's snowing outside, just smelling that is is just a, the bomb. It's the bomb. Just like I feel like smelling leaves, watching the leaves fall, like smelling leaves, the wallflower, while the, while the leaves are changing outside, that's even like... A postcard right there in itself. It's so good and you smell the leaves. It's like, it's like you can really picture the scenery. Anyway, so the third wallflower I got, I got four wallflowers because they had a deal, but the fourth wallflower I'm giving to my grandma as a Christmas gift. So I'm not going to include that one, but it was Tis the Season. I'm not going to include that one. I left that one in the bathroom. I'm going to give that away as a gift anyways, but that was his season. There's probably one or two hand soaps out of this bunch I'm probably going to give away as a Christmas gift, too. I'm not going to use all these. Anyway, so Hot Cocoa and Cream is the last third, the third one I got for myself. And I love Hot Cocoa and Cream. I have it in the candle. I mean, they have to make this in the soap, and they have to make this in body care. Uh, milk chocolate, steamed milk, and nutmeg essential oil. I think it just smells like hot chocolate. Simple as that. It smells like a hot cocoa packet you get out of a nest nesty chocolate box like that's what that smells like it smells exactly like hot chocolate is brewing in in, on, in the pot i mean it's delicious so okay so those are the wallflowers let's do should i do the one candle i'll just do the one candle now why not i got the candle in white mint latte oh so i do know what this would smell like let me see mmm fresh peppermint white chocolate with this, this pretty much smells like a chocolate peppermint, but it's more peppermint than chocolate, or the white chocolate, it says. Yeah, I don't smell chocolate like the hot cocoa and cream. I do smell white chocolate. It's like a sweet, marshmallow, white, creamy sweetness with the peppermint. It smells really good. Mmm. Now I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and just smell it in the soap form because I got it in the soap. So it it does smell a little bit different. This smells straight up like pe peppermint with a little bit of the um 
a little bit of the marshmallow, a little bit of the, the white chocolate, but really mostly peppermint. This smells like a good mix of the both. So I would really recommend getting it in the candle because it's a good mix. So the wallflower, I hope it smells more like the candle because I like the candle better than the soap. But yeah, this smells the perfect combination. It smells great. You do smell the peppermint a little more, but the white chocolate is very much in there. Whereas in the soap, I didn't really smell the white chocolate. I just smelled the peppermint. So yeah, that's the candle I got. I love it. I love the packaging. It's a snowflake on top. The packaging could have been a little better. They could have had maybe like a mint, a, a coffee cup with like a chocolate coming out or, mint, or like a, maybe a mint or something. They could have did a little something different with the packaging, let's be honest. The packaging nowadays in Bath & Body Works hasn't been wowing me like they, it used to used to be. Just, just saying. Gotta keep it real. But that was the one candle I got. I love it. Probably gonna burn that in January. So, let's do hand soaps last because there's a lot of hand soaps. So I'll do body care next. So I got one fragrance mist and it is winterberry wonder now this is the same packaging the same everything from last year it's a glitter snowflakes didn't pick it up last year but i was like you know what i just have to do it this year i didn't pick it up the last couple of years but i was like i can't control myself this year i just can't do it i have to, i have to get it i have to and it smells delicious it kind of reminds me of hey ghoul friend in the hand soap the halloween hand soap Hey, ghoul friend. Kind of sounds like that. Just um, a little bit more sweeter in the cranberry and berry note. Whereas, hey, girlfriend, I feel like it's not as sweet. I feel like it's... No, wait. Wait. Now, you see, now I have to smell hey, ghoul friend again. But I think hey, ghoul friend is more fruity. And this is more sweet. Yeah, this is really fruity too. You smell the cranberry. I don't think cran well, cranberry is not in Hey Ghoul Friend, but there's like a berry note in this that's in Hey Ghoul Friend. And I smell that in this. But the cranberry is in here too, and it's very sweet and strong. It's like a sweet, fruity smell. I love it. Now, would I recommend this smell to be for the winter or Christmas season? It could be. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not. It's not like. Um, like a coconut smell like they make for Christmas, but it really smells like something you'd wear in the summer. This, you could wear all year round. You know what I mean? It's not like you smell, it's like, okay, well, I can't wear this in the winter or, or the Christmas time. You could. It has that cranberry sweet, tart cranberry smell that that is acceptable to wear during the holiday season that people would like to smell like during the holiday season. But it is very sweet and fruity too. You do smell berries and stuff. So this could also work in the summer, I feel like. Because it's very fruity and refreshing and sweet. I think it's really nice for all year round. I think it's a combination of everything. You could do this all year round and say, I love that smell. I had to do it. I had to. Mmm. My God. It smells so good. Oh my God. Now that it dries down, you smell a lot of the cranberry. And I love that a lot. Oh my God. I, I think I'm, I'm very happy I finally got that, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm happy I finally pushed myself to get it. I got two shower gels. The first one's Winterberry Wonder. Um, the notes are Red Winterberry, Ruby Apple, Sparkling Cranberry, Snow Kiss, Camellia, Crystal, Vanilla. I think the vanilla is the sweetness I'm smelling in it. Um, the be Winterberry, the Red Winterberry is the berry note I'm smelling in it. That kind of reminds me of the Hey Ghoul Friend berry note. And then the cranberry is, I'm really smelling the cranberry. Snow Kiss Camellia, I don't know what that is, but I don't smell that. Whatever that could be. And then apple, there's an apple hi hidden in it, but it's not like an apple where it's like, oh my god, like this is fresh picked apples from like the, the apple tree. Like it's not that, it's very hidden in the note. It's, it, the winterberry and the cranberry definitely overpowers everything. I'm just on the shower gel form. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it smells really good. You definitely smell the berry and cranberry a lot in this. You smell more of the berry. Well, no, you smell a lot of berry and cranberry in this, but in the five fragrance smiths. Actually, you know what? I think they both smell pretty much the same, whereas other frag other body care, one would smell something like more in this version than this version. But they actually both smell pretty much the same. I actually like that. That, that there's no change in it. Like, the formula is, the smell's the same in throughout the entire body care line. I like that. Second shower gel I got 
is Snowflakes and Cashmere. Now I got this one on a whim because it was like buy two get one free so I was like I have to pick another shower gel out it's just only fair and I don't like the lotions. And I was like, I don't want another, and they didn't have body creams in, in this line this year, which is shocking to me, because they had it last year, they don't have it this year. I love the packaging with the glitter, oh my god, it's so cute. Anyways, I got this on the uh, whim. Um, so this is Cashmere Cream Shimmering Vanilla Frosted Clementine Golden Amber Calma, Calma, Caramel Woods. Hmm. You know, it's sweet. Um, I smell the cashmere. This smells nothing like, um, cashmere glow. I think that was what it was called. It smells nothing like that, even though it has cashmere and it. it doesn't smell like that. Yeah, it's very different than that. Um, I would say that the notes that come out the most is the golden amber, the vanilla, and the cashmere. I think that's what comes out the most. Caramel woods, I don't really smell caramel in this a lot. I don't really smell caramel in this. I don't think the caramel note is, is really prominent in this one. And for us to Clementine, I don't smell. So I do smell cashmere. Cashmere is definitely in there. And the vanilla, I smell. But I think the golden amber is what's the most powerful note mixed in with everything. Yeah, the amber is what you smell the most, I would say. And then the vanilla and then the cashmere. But I, I, I really do like this smell. I think it smells really great. And I'm happy I picked that one up too. I was like, let me get it. Buy two, get one free. So now it's just hand soap time. That's it. Now it's time for hand soap. So I'm going to do foaming first. And then I'll do the, the creamy, luxurious hand soaps. Okay, so the first gentle foaming one I have is Toasted Vanilla Chai. And I really like the packaging on these. This with the polar bear. I, I had two of... Two soaps from this line. This one and another one. And I like the packaging they're doing for, for this line. I like this. It has with tree tea, tea tree oil. Now, again, it's like with pumpkin butter. Is pumpkin butter really in it? Is tea tree oil really in it? We don't know. We're just going to assume that if it says it's in there, it's in there. So, anyways, this says whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. Let's smell. Yeah, this smells a lot like um, ginger snaps. That's what this smells like. It smells like ginger snaps. Yeah, just like ginger snaps. Not even gingerbread, but ginger snaps. That's what it smells like. This smells like sponge sugar, winter spice, and vanilla. That's what that smells like, ginger snaps. So if you want to smell ginger snaps, that's what it smells like. And I promise you that's exactly what it smells like. So if you want a ginger snap hand soap, get this. Because that's what that smells like. I promise you. I won't lie to you. Promise, promise, promise. Got some soap on me. Let me wipe that off. Next hand soap is the second one I got in this line, and this is Frosted Cranberry. And Frosted Cranberry comes out every year. So, um, this one says Frosted Cranberry, Red Delicious Apple, and Blonde Woods. We know what Frosted Cranberry smells like. It smells delicious. Yeah, it smells great. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of the best, I think, holiday smells. This and Tis the Season. I love those. I don't think Tis the Season came out in hand soaps form yet. Because I would have gotten it if it did. So I don't think I saw that. Okay, the, the third hand soap I got in the foaming is Winter Candy Apple. We all know what this smells like. No shock. Um, I love the packaging on this one, too. This one has a packaging, and I think a lot of people I saw say it, has, like, the Griswold family Christmas vacation type of packaging, which is cute. I really like the packaging they did, and they have the plaid on this side here. I like that. I like the packaging there. And I, love the, I like the packaging on this one, too, honestly. Some of the packaging on these hand soaps aren't that great, but these packagings on these hand soaps I like. Winter Candy Apple. So yeah, Red Delicious Apple, Winter Rose Petals, and Candied Orange. Smell, even though we all smell, I know what this smells like. Delicious. Delicious, perfect holiday smell. This and Vanilla Bean Noel, every time I smell these two, I just think of Christmas, that's it. Um, last hand soap in the foaming is Coconut Mint Drop. And I, I like, you know what, this packaging I like. The foaming packaging I like. The two creamy luxurious hand, hand soaps that I got. Those packaging is not good. But these, the hand soap, the foaming is nice. So coconut mint drop. White coconut ice peppermint and winter musk. Now this is what was in the body care form. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, there we go. Smells delicious. Uh, 
Honestly, this is really good. It really is. If you want a Christmas smell. The difference between this and Twisted Peppermint is that I feel like Twisted Peppermint is mixed in with the vanilla, right? It has vanilla and peppermint. Where this is peppermint and coconut, it, it's kind of a different type of sweet smell. It, it's reminding me of white ch chocolate covered peppermint. Not ch chocolate, but white chocolate covered peppermints with the peppermint note being a little bit more strong. Yeah. Mm. It's so weird. White mint latte. Oh, you know, I got it mixed up. The creamy luxurious hand. These, this is from the body care. The candle is from the wallflower. So the candle and the wallflower smell. So the white mint latte um, smells sweet and vanilla-like. It kind of smells a lot like Twisted Peppermint, but it's a white chocolate and it's very sweet and it's with the peppermint mixed in. This is very strong in peppermint with a little bit of the sweet note. Now, coconut's not sweet, so I don't know. Yeah. I guess I do smell the coconut a little bit. I guess that is what I'm smelling when, it, when I say sweet. But the peppermint really, really, really outshines this. The peppermint really outshines this, the hand soaps, really. Where in body care and the coconut mint drop, it, it just smelled more sweet. And I can't, I can't like explain it because they came out with two new um, fragrances that were very similar this year. The white mint latte and the coconut mint drop. Those two are very similar. But, but recapping, the white mint latte is more sweet in white chocolate and with, mixed with the peppermint, whereas the coconut mint drop has that coconut sweetness, but the peppermint is very strong. So the peppermint overshadows the coconut mint drop. So, okay. Whew. All right, now on to the two luxurious hand soaps. First one's coconut mint drop. We just spoke about this. However, I don't like the packaging on this one, on the creamy lux hand shot. I don't like the packaging. I love the formula, I love the smell, but don't like the packaging. I don't. Too boring. And then this last sand soap I got, the last item from the holiday, 2017 holiday Bath and Body Works haul, is Vanilla Bean Noel Creamy Lux. And this smells delicious. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. Again, I don't like the packaging, but Vanilla Bean Noel is delicious. Mmm. This has fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel and sugar cookies, you definitely smell everything. You smell the vanilla bean, the caramel and sugar cookies. It just smells like a sweet baked treat. Delicious. Where I think the caramel stands out a lot in this. The caramel, I think, note is, is the one that outstands this. The hand soap, you smell more of the caramel, I have to say. Whereas in the body care, I feel like you smell more of the vanilla bean and the sugar cookies. So yeah, that's the last hand soap. So that's it. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Bath and Body Works holiday haul from 2017. Um, the Real Housewives of New Jersey has not come on as of yet, but I will do the episode review right after it comes on and upload both of these videos to my YouTube channel either tonight or tomorrow. All right, I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and bye!